Hey guys, I'm Ron, and today we'll be creating a JSON object, adding a JSON array to that JSON object, and then we'll be writing that data to a file using the file writer class. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to make sure you have the org.json dependency added to your POM file. Before we get started, let me just note that JSON objects are built of key value pairs. So the key always has to be a string, for example, name, age, date, and the value is any valid data type. So in this tutorial, we'll use um, integers, we'll use strings, and we'll even use JSON arrays, which we'll, we'll get into that soon. All right, so let's get started by creating a JSON object. So Kadota provides me with relevant suggestions and completions for my code. So I don't have to waste time and effort reinventing bits of code that already exist. Let's continue. And we'll add some data into it. So we'll start by putting a name. The key is name. And the value will be Alex because we're giving it a name. It's a string. And now we'll put age. And the it is an integer. We're adding an integer, 18. And let's now create a JSON array. Okay. And we'll call it prev jobs. So these will be the previous jobs that Alex has done. So new JSON array, Kodota knows that's what we want to do. And we'll add to that array now. So the first job is student. Let's add a second job and we'll say he was a TA. He helped teachers, teacher and teaching assistant. And let's add one more job. Let's say Alex was also a cook. So these are his three jobs. Now let's add that array, the prev jobs array, to the JSON object. So j.put, and the key is previous jobs. And the value is a JSON array. This time the value is prev jobs, which is a JSON array. So now we have a JSON object with some data in it. So we'll write this data to a file, a new file, and we'll use the file writer class for this. So now we're, go we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it Alex profile. So the default location for this file will be in our project and it will create a new file called Alex profile. So now let's catch any exceptions we may have. And we'll print stack trace if we do get any exceptions. And in here, we'll actually we'll file dot write, and we want to write everything, all the data from in this object. So j two string. Now let's run it, and we should get a new file called Alex profile with the data in it. Let's see. And there we go, guys. That's it. If this tutorial helped you, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget to download Kodota. I'll leave the link down below. I'll see you next time. Bye!